Hey guys, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Happy Wednesday. You know what, it is 12.03. It's super late, but I did not want to go to bed. I could not go to bed without doing my I Love Me Wednesday video for today. Do you notice anything different about me? What, what? I got on glasses. Yes, I have glasses, you guys. You know, I, I have to give contacts a rest. I wear them all day and I had to go get some glasses, so now I look like a Poindexter, <laughs> um, but a cute Poindexter. So anyway, I'm so glad to be back to be doing this video tonight before I go to bed. I have an important message that I want to deliver. It's something that was on my heart that's been on my heart ever since I got home this evening, and I said I'm not going to bed unless I talk to the people, talk to everyone in YouTube land, talk to all of you guys who I love. Who I have a lot of love for. So, happy Wednesday. It's I Love Me Wednesday. You guys know that. If you don't know that and you're new, welcome to my page. My name is Savon. This is Divine Messages. This channel is all about you, inspiring you, inspiring you to live your best life. Okay? So let me get started with this message. Say yes. That's the message. Say yes. And when I say, say yes, what I'm talking about is there's a part of you, there's a part of you, there's something inside of you, your spirit, call it whatever you want to call it, that is dying to get out into the world, that is dying to dance, that is dying to be free, that is dying to sing. There's a teacher inside of you that is dying to teach. There's a singer inside of you that's dying to sing. There's a designer inside of you that's dying to design. There's a business owner that is dying to get out and live that dream and own that business. And I want you guys to say yes to that part of you. You know, a lot of things are happening in my life right now super, super fast. And it's because I said yes. I said yes, 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 without thinking about anything else. I'm not thinking about the, should, the, the ifs, the whats, and the hows. All I'm saying is yes, and I'm allowing the universe, spirit, God to shape things for me. I'm saying yes to my dreams. I'm saying yes to my passions. Whatever it is that I want to do that's in my heart, I'm saying yes to without judging myself, without comparing myself to anyone. Because there can only be one, say, Vaughn, just like there can only be one you. So say yes, and I'm talking to all of you out there that I know watch these videos, leave comments and you send me your stories and you tell me that you have these dreams and these aspirations, say yes. All you have to do is say yes. Once you say yes to you, once you say yes to your spirit, to the God within you that wants to get out, that wants to creatively express itself through your particular talent or gift, because we all have them, we all have gifts. Once you say yes, and then you take a step back and you allow that energy to work through you, that spirit to work through you, or like my grandmother says, you allow God to use you, to use you, then it's all, then the miracles happen and opportunities come your way and things just start shaping up. And you know, you have nothing to worry about because it's not about you, it's not about me. It's not about um, getting adulation from others. It's not about me getting all this attention from others. It has nothing to do with me. I am nobody. What it has to do with is the spirit that's in me, the source energy that's in me, the love that's in me, the God that's in me, that I'm saying yes to and allowing it to come through me creatively, creatively and allowing, um, Allowing it to be expressed, fully self-expressed, without limiting it, without judging it. You know, so say yes. I can feel you, you guys, your energy. And I know that there's a part of you that's dying to get out into the world and to let the world see who you are. That's your spirit. That's your light trying to wake you up. And all you have to do is say yes. It's knocking at the door. And there's... And you're not saying yes because you're scared because you don't think you're good enough. But I'm here to tell you, you are good enough. You can do it. You know, so many times we base 
We put our hopes and our dreams into other people, into society, into what we see, and we allow others to make that decision for us. And nobody can make that decision for you. No one can stop you from living your dream but you. No one is more powerful than you. I'm going to say that again. No one, and I mean no one, is more powerful than you. You know what my grandmother used to always say, and I tend to quote her a lot in these videos, but if God, if God be for you, that's all that matters. Who can be against you? You know? And I was thinking about something today. I was like, you know what? There's this quote in the Bible, you know, and I don't quote the Bible a lot, but I'm going to quote it because I know that sometimes I lose people when I say things like, you are consciousness living as you, or you are a spirit having a human experience, or your love your love living as you, or you are a unique expression of God living as you, so there isn't anything that you can't be, do, or have. For some people, that's a little out there. So I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break it down for you, and I'm going to quote my grandmother again. My grandmother used to always say, speak those things that be not as if they were. I'm going to say that again. Speak those things that be not as if they were. When you do that, because your word is your wand, when you do that, you speak things into your life. And God didn't say, speak those things that be not as if they were, and then I'll give it to you if so-and-so approves of it. Then I'll give it to you if you fit the criteria. God didn't say that. God said, speak those things that be not as if they were, and you shall have them. Believe it, have faith, and receive it, and you can have it, you know? I talk a lot about this a lot, but on in metaphysical terms, I talk a lot about energy and how we can speak things into existence and how our thoughts and our feelings and our emotions and what we think creates our own reality. You know, you can do it. You can be, do, or have anything that you want, but the only one that's stopping you is you. The only one that's stopping you is you. You're never too old to pick up those dreams, dust them off, and live them. You're never too old to start over, to start again. You're never too old to start figuring out how you're going to open that business and start that business. You're never too old to act, to sing, to dance, to design, to go back to school, to do whatever you want to do. And it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter your race, your sexual orientation. None of that stuff matters. None of it matters. As I said before, and I'm going to say it again, your uniqueness... Your uniqueness is your gift. Your uniqueness is your gift. Your uniqueness is your gift. Okay? And you can be, do, and have anything that you want, but you have to claim it and you have to say, yes. There's a save on. There's another part of me, my spirit that's inside of me that's been dying to get out for years. And I finally started saying yes to him. And look at all the blessings that are happening in my life because I'm not limiting myself. I'm not allowing anyone to put me in a box to categorize me or to tell me what I can and cannot do. And I will live my dreams. You guys are going to see that. I'm going to keep this page for as long as I can. You know, there may be times where I may not be able to update my videos because I know that I know that I know that I know I'm going to be busy doing a lot of things and a lot of blessings are going to come my way. I know that. There's no doubt in my mind. And it's because I said yes. It's because I said, okay, spirit, self that's inside of me, you want to do this? Okay. All right. I'm going to say yes. And when you say yes and you allow your spirit or the God within you to take over and you take a backseat, then everything reshapes itself around you, you know? So that's the message. Say yes. Love yourself enough to say yes. Today's I Love Me Wednesday, and I want you to get this message in your heart. This is real talk. Say yes. Whatever it is, whatever your dream is, whatever your passion is, whatever that part of you that's inside of you that's dying to get out and live in the world and have fun, just say yes. Say yes. Feel the relief, the release. And just keep it moving and allow it to create whatever it's going to create. Okay? So I'm almost out of time, you guys. I love you so much. Have an amazing, blessed week. Say yes to yourself. Love yourself enough to say yes. Take care. Ugh.